all right so in this series we will be building a react application from absolute scratch and let me just go through the entire thing the application which we are going to build so this will be a link shortener application similar to many different services out there such as bitly rebrandly like there are hundreds of out there you can look it up online the objective or to say the service which it will provide is to allow any user to shorten any long url and get the shortened link using which they can even track the number of time the link was clicked the shortened one so let me just go through the entire thing so this will be the home page in this application there will be navigation so this will be the home page which only the unauthenticated users are going to see as you can see it has a neat layout over here we have a button as well as we have the same thing over here whenever the user clicks on either one of them it pops open a moodle a dialog box using which the user can authenticate they can either sign in or they can sign up by using the text which is over here which toggles the state of the form so let's just first create an account so we will also be doing a bit of error handling like this email right over here which i have just entered this is already registered so if i try to sign up using the same email it throws this message which is coming from the backend now for the backend we will be using firebase we are going to use it for the firestore database the cloud functions authentications for which we are using the email and password authentication plus for the hosting this application currently is being hosted using firebase so by the way i have intentionally set the password input to be of type text and that's why you can see the text and i will cover this thing up like the reason why within the series so let's first sign up using a different account this thing so when the user signs up they will be automatically be logged in actually it seems like this one is registered as well plus as you can see we have a loader when the user makes the request and after it's done after the account has been created they will be pushed to the internal page the account page where they can see all the different links that they have created now as it is a new account therefore we have no links at the moment and if that's the case then the user is going to see this image uh, once again this image that we have over here plus the message which says the same thing so let's try creating an, a link first so over here when the user clicks on the create new it pops open a model using which the user will be able to create the shortened links so let's create one and over here we need to provide the name of the url or to say the link let's name it as website and i will be adding in my own the official website of this channel so when the user clicks on the create short url this button and by the way we, we will also be handling the error case like for instance this link is is a required fields and at the same time it has to be a url so if we if the user tries to pass something else it's going to throw a message which says that url is not valid so let's try creating the link after it's done it has been added to the database and you can see the links over here like the users can see their links being listed out on this page so over here we have a very neat layout by the way we will be using material ui library in order to create the ui of this application so over here we have the timestamp when the link was created we have the name which was submitted by the user plus the long url and over here we have the shortened one which is on the same domain where the application is currently being hosted and next to it we have this short code so the user can copy this link to the clipboard by clicking on this button that we have over here and at the same time we have the counter like the number of time the link was clicked so it's a pretty neat application plus professionally built so let's just try clicking on this button and at the same time we have the toaster or to say the snack bar in material ui which notifies the user that the link has been copied to the clipboard so now if we try to visit this thing it's going to show this message by the way i have just pressed escape so 
it was kind of stuck over there for a while so as you can see it's when the user tries to visit a shortened link we have a different page on the same application a different screen where we are showing the loader over here and it says that redirecting to the link and by the way we will also be handling the error case right over here which is that if the user tries to visit a shortened link which is not valid in that case it's going to throw the message which says link is invalid so let's try visiting the the actual link if we do it's going to redirect the user to the actual website there we have it so at the same time if we go back to the application and if i click on refresh we will see that the link was clicked three times i kind of visited the same thing three times so we have this counter as well which is great so the other thing is let's just go through the official website of this channel so over here by the way make sure to sign up to the newsletter in order to get notified about the upcoming courses and projects so over here we have a single one this thing and you can click on it you can go through the rest of the information about this project this application that we are going to build so let me just go through the same thing so this will be a react application obviously and we will be building the ui using the material ui library now you don't need to have any prior experience although having it is going to be beneficial but again it's not something which is required then we will be adding navigation with route guards so route guards basically are like these ensure that the user is on the right page like for instance at the moment we are authenticated we are logged in so if i try to visit the home page which is on the route it will automatically push the user to the account page so these are what these are route guards so the next thing is we will be using firebase emulator so the thing is you should be having a bit of experience with firebase although it's not required to have like the expert level of knowledge it's perfectly fine if you just know the basics and the other thing is we will be using firebase emulator as it is very helpful in the development phase so this is something which you will learn like how to set it up then we are going to use firestore for the database where we will store all the links which the user creates then the other thing is this application this entire series it's a one of a kind type of series because we are going to build the application from absolute scratch now by that i mean even for me it's going to be the first time we will start with the designs that i prepared in figma we are going to take those designs we are going to do the planning and we are going to build the designs together like we are going to develop it together in real time so these are not something like this video that you're watching this is recorded at the very end of this series like after the application has been built now it also means that like in between i will be planning the application like checking out different viable options plus looking up online for different resources in order to build the application like in short you will be getting the real life experience of building an actual professional react application which includes all the planning which goes in between so the other thing is getting back to the points we will be looking into cloud functions now cloud functions are essentially functions which are executed on the cloud these are serverless which means that you don't need to have any server and for this application we will be using event based triggers more on that later now this is something like which is kind of like bonus and you will normally won't see this thing being covered in different tutorials online so the thing is after building the entire application it's quite important to make sure that everything stays the way that it is which means that we add a we add certain level of security to the application just to ensure that nobody plays around with the database and with the application so for that we will be writing security rules in firestore which is something that you will rarely see in online tutorials so the other thing is in the end we will be deploying the application on fire the firebase for the hosting and all the different services and in the end as a bonus we will also connect to a live like to an, to an actual domain 
although it's optional you don't have to do this you can use your own like the domain which is provided by firebase so as you can see we this application right now is being hosted on this url now there are certain prerequisites firstly you should be knowing the basics of react you should know what components are what props are what jsx and hooks are like these are certain things which you should be knowing at least the basics then the other thing is you should be having a basic understanding of file store or no sql database and the there are certain system requirements as well so for the cloud sorry for the firebase emulator which we will be using in this application you will need to have java installed on your system now you don't need to know what like to code in java you don't need to know the language but you just need to have the java runtime installed on your system otherwise the emulator won't work and i strongly suggest that you do use the emulator to have an ease full of like the development journey and in the end the last point which is kind of like a boomer but it's quite important for me to state the same thing so as we are going to use cloud functions which will work perfectly fine while using the firebase emulator however if you plan to deploy the application which means if you plan to deploy the cloud functions as well which we will be creating you need to have a google billing account which basically means that you need to have a credit or debit card attached to your account and you will need to upgrade to the pay as you go plan so like you won't be paying anything as a starting because for the most part you will stay within the the free tier cap which firebase provides and we will also be writing security rules so that nothing goes out outside the hand and the other thing is when you first sign up or to say when you first create a google billing account you even get 300 usd 300 300 usd free credit for the next 90 days the three months earlier it used to be 12 months but now they have reduced it to three months plus you can also set budget alerts in in case it's if you're concerned about it so that's it that's the prerequisites these are the different like the tech stack that we are going to use and next over here we have snippets which like a few different things which we will be like different things that we are going to use while developing this application all placed at a single place so over here you can kind of get the font family the regex the regex that we are going to use the regular expression for this thing and a different one for the cloud files too more on that later so the next thing is the the files to rules so as we are going to write we are going to write the security rules in file store i have placed the entire thing over here in a gist so you can just copy the same thing or you can use it as a reference while writing the security rules the other thing is the assets in this application there are just two assets or to say two media files two images the one is this thing which is displayed when there are no links and the other one is the one which is displayed on the home page this thing although we will be like you will also learn how to build this screenshot by yourself for your application with your name so that's it and you can also get the final source code so although i have written 3 usd but that's not the case earlier i was planning to charge some money for it for all the hard work which was put in but later i kind of later i kind of settled for allowing the user themselves to name the price so you can just go over here and you can just enter zero if you just want to get it for zero anyway so yep that's it and the other thing is they like in case you want to support this series this application like what you will be learning in this series you can just do that by getting to the support tab over here and you can just buy me a coffee and also if you want your name and your message to be displayed right over here you can click on this button there you will be having the hash code this thing so just include this while like making the when you get to the support page this thing so just include it if you want to support this channel right over here along with your own message and your name will be 
name with the message will be added over here so i think that's it now the other thing is initially i was planning to stitch all the videos together it's around around 60 videos in this series i guess 58 including this one so initially i was planning to stitch or to merge all of them together but because of some like technical limitations i'm unable to do so and that's why i'm kind of i will be uploading them in parts so yep that's the thing so yeah now if you if you're interested in building this application you can continue with this series all right